Hey, this is Scott Duffy Bonsai. In this video, I'm going to do some photography with that weird pancake body cap lens, whatever you want to call it, from Seven Artisans, 18mm f6.3, and also an extension tube. So we're going to do some macro stuff. This is a 10mm extension tube. I also have the larger one, M50, and this big ProMaster LED 120SS light. Okay, then let's try to find some close-up some stuff. I think what I'm gonna need to do here is use the zoom in feature with this today. Probably in some awkward positions. Not quite as spectacular as DP Reviews Jordan and his fetal position poses, but we'll see. It might get awkward. So this could be one of the nicest ultra compact macro setups you can find. Of course, Canon does have their own macro lens that I've never used. Yeah, absolutely need the zoom in feature for this. Just not gonna be able to tell what is in focus with the peaking. Disabling the touchscreen, disabling the viewfinder, sensor thing is definitely a good idea. It's so easy to hit stuff you don't want to and then you'd be messing with settings and of course you can accidentally hit buttons but not as easy. This makes a nice little cup of light for the macro. So far it's working okay. I could definitely get closer with that other extension tube or both of them combined. We'll see. Gonna stick with this one for now. It's a little easier. The thing is with zoom in, the M50 has a lot of wobble. If you're not really steady, it's gonna be hard to get the focus where you want. Move to a different area. It's got a good amount of light to it. Well, I'm sure that'll go through the battery quick at 100%. I'm gonna add the other extension tube just to see how close we can get with this combination. So there's the first extension tube. Now we've got the 16 and the 10. Still pretty thin lens, all things considered. Use my finger as a reference here. Gotta be so close to it. That's, that's a no-go. It works, but you got to be right on the lens. Let's try the just the thicker one. Still pretty thin. If you do want legitimate macro level stuff, you want to use the larger 60 millimeter tube. The 10 millimeter does get you a lot closer, obviously, than the lens itself. So in this case, when I'm blocking the light coming in, you want to definitely have some type of source you can use. Everything looks gigantic and alien. Has some good texture on it. And just use the light plus my additional light. It's little dots on this leaf. They're so tiny, but when you pull out a good camera, they look really interesting. It's actually working pretty well with macro stuff. It opens a whole world of possibilities. Situations like this, it's basically everything's, there's no more color for the most part. I can use macro to find some interesting stuff. All right, I'm in an area that I shouldn't have anyone show up. So I'll not use this for now. Good amount of light power, but I'm going through the battery pretty quick. I didn't fully charge it and it's getting old. I think the 60 millimeter extension tube is better for macro of course with the specific lens than the 10 millimeter you still have a little bit of working distance on this setup but you get more magnification obviously the nice thing about macro especially in my area when the seasons change pretty dramatically right now it's just very brown but with the macro stuff i can get in there get close find little things that are interesting compared to doing large scenes. So with a lens like this, 
This specific lens is basically a large scene lens because the close focus distance is very long, or at least their specifications say like 1.1 foot or 30 centimeters, something like that. And it's basically not true. It'll start getting into focus, but it's going to not look good. I'm trying to use the strap as a brace so I can attempt to make the zoom in work okay. Obviously Moss is a great one for macro photography. It has so much fine detail to it. You see something like this, it looks interesting, but it close up, it looks a lot more interesting. Or even something like this, you get close up on it. That's super difficult. This trap does help, but I'm still shaking around, moving around. Tiny little leaves of these moss things. Whatever, whatever it is. If you wanted to go hardcore, you could bring a tripod. You could try to do some type of focus bracketing. But your tripod, you need some type of slide head to make that work. This lens has no focus. In this case, I do want to adjust my exposure compensation. These ones are really, really neat. So in this case, I'm trying to make a little scene out of the area. Obviously it is compact, gives you another option with a weird lens like this to get some use out of it. Look at that. Seems like someone had an idea and they went for it. <laughs> okay. That is a large mess of sharp pointies. You get in there, you see the texture of that fungi. Hope you enjoyed this video on using the 18 millimeter from Seven Artisans in a different way with those extension tubes. Some scuffed off your bonsai, thanks. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and the plus feature also helps out a lot. See ya.